This is the demonstration video for the Earthwork Pro plugin for PlanSwift. To begin, download uh, site plan and make sure that you scale your plan in both the X and Y axis. So you can see here I have scaled this plan in both X and Y. And also right here, this marker indicates that each of these pages have a scale set in the X and Y axis. Once you've got your scale set, go ahead and take a look at your area of interest. In this demonstration, we'll be looking at lots 23 through 33. And if we go into our right-hand toolbar and we look at the advanced part system, Earthwork Pro, we want to go ahead and click that, or Earthwork Pro if you're using the Earthwork Pro metric. You also want to be sure when you create that job, if you're using metric, to set your measurement type to metric. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is actually measure the area between our contours. Now PlanSwift's Earthwork Pro is a little different than most other Earthwork programs. We're actually going to be using these templates here, either existing or proposed. Um, you can choose random colors. I prefer the pre-shaded options. And we're going to use these templates to fill in the area between contours. So if I look at the area here, this is contour 312 and contour 314. The average area between those two would be 313. So I'll go ahead and click my record button here on the side. Let me show that again. This green button is my record button and that will open up my properties window. I just need to put in the elevation here, 313, and click OK. Then I'm going to digitize just the area through my area of interest. So I'll start here and work my way around on contour 314 and then I'll go ahead and cross back over the line once I'm outside of my lots or my area of interest and I'll work my way around the contour 312 essentially filling in the area between 312 and 314. When I'm done I'll right click and choose stop now I would do the next contour which could be let's say 315 and that would be the area between 314 and 316. I'm going to use this button down here called snap. I'll enable that snap button and then go back and grab another existing elevation and this time I'll put that in at 315. Go ahead and click OK. Now having the snap option turned on you can see I get a red box which allows me to click the points that I've already created on contour 314 and in this fashion I don't overlap my contours. And then I would come back around on contour 316. And you can toggle on and off your snap button by using the F3 button, um, function or F3 key on your keyboard rather. And then again you can see once I get outside of the lots I can stop. And so we would repeat this process until we had all of these contours filled in over the site that we're going to analyze. Now once I've got all the existing contours, I can hide those layers here on the left and then I'll choose a proposed contour. Now in this example we're just proposing that each individual lot has an elevation and we're assigning lot, three, six, or lot 26 an elevation of 315.250. So I'll just click OK and then I would digitize that lot for example and click stop. Now typically you'd be following the same kind of contour lines for proposed or in some cases you may have spot elevations. What you want to do is try and connect the dots between those elevations and create um, contours or create these areas. At the end of the day what you're going to end up with is a site plan that's going to have all of your different elevations digitized. So for example, we'd have the 313, then 315, then 317, 319, 321, 311, and 309. And then overlapping those, we'd have some additional areas, and those would be our proposed areas. So if we look here, 
we've got all this filled in with blue different contours for our area. So once we have an overlapping area of both proposed and existing like you see here, then we're ready to go ahead and calculate. Now I'm going to zoom out and then just make sure to click anywhere on the page to deselect everything. Then I'll go ahead and drag and draw a box over all of these areas to select them all. So you can see everything is selected here and also on the left. And now I'll click the Earthwork Pro. Clicking Earthwork Pro, I'm going to choose calculation size. We'll stay with 12 by 12 inches. There's a range here you can choose from. I'm going to also choose to show graphics. And we'll go ahead and click Calculate. This will now calculate and put together my cuts and my fills. It's also adding in graphics showing me in red wherever my cuts are and showing me in blue wherever my fills are. In the instructional video I explain a little more what the difference is between the calculation and the graphics. You just need to know that the calculation is really where we calculate the cubic yardage. These values here, or these numbers here, this section is where we show, again, high and low points. Now we would take this to our reports, and we can see here we have 3,100 yards of cut, 1,018 yards of fill, and 2,085 yards is my net total with a, a negative sign, meaning I had more cuts than fills. And that's basically what we do with Earthwork Pro. One thing to remember is that everything we analyze in Earthwork Pro is really just your grades, your earth. Um, so we're looking at, you want to make sure that you, you look at just the existing contours or any subgrades um, if you're proposing a contour. And you can see these white points or dots and these numbers here, 261 and 112. Those numbers correlate to how many points or dots we had for our graphics for the cut and fill. These here, again, are just graphics only. If you go to the reports, this is where you'll find your, your values. You could print this report out if you want, and it will break it down here into a simple report for printing, or you can also export this to Excel. One other thing, if you wanted to use Earthwork Pro, let's say, to do a clear and grub, I'm going to go ahead and take the page here and right click and copy this and paste the page. I duplicated the page here now. and I'm going to go to the properties and just rename the page Clear and Grub. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, this page is already set with the same scale as the previous page. We'll go ahead and zoom in around my area of interest and I'm going to click a, an existing elevation and we're going to just set the existing elevation at 313. Click OK. And all I need to do is just create a big box around my area like so. And then I'm going to choose a proposed area and let's say we want to clear and grub 6 inches. We want to actually remove 6 inches from the top. I would set this at 312.5. which would be a six inch difference from 313, our previous existing elevation. I'll click OK. And then I can go ahead and digitize the site. And if I want to, I could turn off the, the brown so as not to have to look through. It's not too big a problem here. And I'm just putting in my area of interest here that I'm going to actually take off six inches. Right click and stop. Then I'll zoom back out selecting both and click Earthwork Pro again and again this time I really just need to calculate I don't even need to show the graphics I know that I'm cutting out six inches so I'll just click calculate it's running my calculations and if we go to the report we can see we took out an additional 694 yards to clear and grub six inches off the top so that's another way you can easily um, analyze the site would be take the entire area of the site with an existing and then with the proposed and run Earthwork Pro. 
It will only calculate the area where each proposed and existing overlap. Um, so really powerful stuff. It's calculating this every um, individual square foot and we analyzed 37,000 square feet just then in just a matter of moments. So again, we've got an additional sheet here for our clearing grub with these additional yards. And so our new total is 37.99 with 27.80 being our, our total there. And that would show up on the report as well. Um, that's pretty much it for the Earthwork Pro. You can also go in and, and um, estimate into your estimating tab and make some modifications. When we do our clearing grub, if we have to haul it off and we have to include a 10% expansion for um, for our trucks, we can go into the properties and adjust the total here to a 10%. So this 694 will be adjusted by 69 yards and we get a new total of 763 in our report and that adjusts all our total here. So again, you can do that in the estimating. Uh, thank you for watching the uh, demonstration video and for also downloading uh, the, the Earthwork Pro plugin. If you have any additional questions or if you need additional instruction, you can go into the download plugins or you can go to the YouTube channel for Advanced Swift and click on the Earthwork Pro instructions. It's a 22 minute video and gets more in depth with the instructions here on how to use Earthwork Pro. Um, so go ahead and check that video out right here. And also if you want written instructions you can go to the help tab in PlanSwift. Click on the home button and in the search bar just type in the word Earthwork. Go ahead and click search and it will pull up an article here for Earthwork Pro. And then you can read it here or you can click export to PDF and then save a copy and print that PDF from here if you choose. Again, thank you for downloading the Earthwork Pro demo. And again, here's your instruction sheet that you could print off or save a copy from here. If you have any more uh, questions, go ahead and feel free to contact me. My name is Aaron Watts, and you can contact me through the Earthwork Pro plugin under the details. This is my contact information here. Thanks.